Hey guys, it's Will here again, and here's a new tutorial. Now, I haven't done one in a while, um, but that's because I've been working uh, on business things for Prophesy Apparel. Um, there'll be a little vlog that I'm doing coming up later, and it'll be all cool. So, hang on, just get rid of the fly that's near my microphone. Um, right, so we're going to go and create this pattern uh, around a shape. Now this is a stroke, but it's actually a brush stroke. So it's created a pattern around this and you can actually create them in any shape once you've done it. Um, so I can literally just go up here and create like a, a star like so. And then um, I could do that, but then I'd have to change some of the settings. I could create a hexagon and it would do the same thing. I use a polygon here and then just click on here to create the pattern and it will create it for me just like that. And it's a cool sort of pattern thing. Now, Illustrator CC, you will need Illustrator Creative Cloud, the newest version of Illustrator to do this, because we're going to be using a tool that um, Illustrator CS6 uh, doesn't have. Um, and it's a pretty cool tool, and it's life-saving for designers who need to use pattern brushes and stuff like this. So this is only can be done within Illustrator CC. So first off, I'm just going to delete these. I'm going to delete this brush here because I've, already, I've just made it. Uh, what you first need to do is create a new document. Um, and I've got um, a document open here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick on this layer here. I'm going to bring out my brushes panel here. And it should be on the top right. If not, go to Windows and then go to Brushes or press F5. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to press M. And then making sure my Smart Guides are on. If they're not on, go up to View and go to Smart Guides and press it or press command U or control U on a PC. Then we're just going to create a, a square in the center. The reason why it's staying in the center is because I'm holding shift and alt at the same time, which is going to keep the uh, uh, angles constrained uh, and it's going to make sure it's in the center. So if I take alt off, it will do it from this angle or this angle. Um, and if I hold alt on, it will do it from the center. So I'm just going to create something like that in the center, making sure that we have a black fill. Then I'm going to press V to get to my move tool. And then I'm going to highlight this. And then I'm going to press Command C to copy it. And then to paste it right on top of the image, I'm going to press Command F, which means paste in front. Uh, don't press Command V, otherwise you'll have um, the same shape but somewhere else on your artboard. So then what we're going to do is with the paste one, we're going to just hold Shift and Alt again and scale it down a bit. And then we going to scale down a little bit more maybe to about here. And then we're going to highlight them both because there's two shapes there now and go to the Pathfinder. If you don't have your Pathfinder, go to Window and go to Pathfinder or press Shift Command F9 or Shift Control F9 on the PC. Then highlight these and then go up to minus front, it's the second in, and then press that. And it'll take the shape um, that's on front out of the back shape. Then I'm going to highlight it, press E, and then I'm going to actually get rid of my character panel there. And then I'm going to. Uh, just literally hold shift and move it 90 degrees and that will keep the angle straight and that's basically the first part of it and then we're just going to move this down a bit up here this is a very simple pattern brush then what we're going to do is we're going to hold alt and then we're going to hold shift and move this down like so so this intersecting now the smart guides will point you when they're both touching and both exactly the same then what we're going to do is we're just going to hold do the same bit but we're going to drag it over to the right do the same and then drag it over to the left like so. Now I have a pattern there and it doesn't look like much of a pattern now but you'll get used to it once starting to use this pattern uh, this pattern brush thing that we're doing. Then I'm going to highlight them all and press command G to group them. I'm going to then make them smaller to make it easier for me. I'm going to then get my brushes panel up here. I'm just going to drag this into the brushes panel and then we'll get this new box coming up and it'll say all these things. We're do, we want to make a pattern brush, so we're going to make, press pattern brush. And then with this, we're just going to move this into the center. Um, we have all these options. Now, what CS6 didn't have is uh, these auto-generated um, corner tiles. So this one is a corner tile for the outer corner. So you see here in the outer corner, we can see a preview of this. Uh, the preview says that the tiles here are just going to be square just like that and that that doesn't look too good so what we're going to do is go to the auto generated ones and we're going to go pick this auto center and that looks much better it's auto generated the tiles through the pattern that you've made and it looks pretty sick 
And then we're going to go over to the next one, slide tile, you'll see there's nothing there. The last one is the inner corner tile. I'm just going to go to auto centered again. So it's centered on the inside of here. So that's changed now. And then we're going to just uh, probably move this uh, scale down a bit. We don't need to fix anything else, but there's loads of more settings if you want to play around with them. I'm just going to move this scale down to about 55, press OK. And then I'm just going to delete these, press M, and then bring up a shape. And then I'm going to press Shift and X to change my foreground color to the swatch. And then when I'm on, when I've got no fill color, making sure that there's a red line in the fill swatch, and I've got a, uh, a black uh, stroke, I'm going to just press on the pattern brush, and you'll see that we've created a pattern just like so, and it does it automatically on there for you. And you can actually move the shape around, do whatever you want with them. Literally, you can create anything you want. And then we can press L to get our circle tool, circle up. Uh, you'll see that there's no pattern on it yet, so we need to just press this, and it'll create a pattern for us just like so. So guys, that is how to create those pattern swatches, uh, or those pattern brushes for shapes in CC, in Illustrator CC. So that's fun to say, Illustrator CC. I haven't been able to say that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. More tutorials are coming out. Thank you so much for 500 subscribers. That is amazing. I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.